how they treating you over there on payday Friday? Are they making sure that you compensated fully for everything that you're doing for these people out here or what? You know, if you're not, you're in the right place. Because if you're a caregiver, you definitely need to be uh, getting that biggest paycheck you get. How y'all doing today? My name is Kion Church. If you don't know me, I'm who they call the big hearted caregiver. Now, I am your in-home health care guy. So anything you need to know about in-home health care, you know, you got me, baby. All you got to do is reach out. But I'm here with you. I'm going to tell you right now because a lot of people ask me. They say, KC, who do you help? I help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid long-term health care program. And really what they do is they call that LTSS. A lot of people always curious, how do I get a paid caregiver? Well, if you're in Medicaid and you're in LTSS, all you got to do is call KC. It's that simple. Simple as that. So listen, man, I, I wanted to get on with you. You know, I haven't been on with you in a while. And I, I was looking at this good FedEx came today. Y'all see this big, thick package? Now, this thing right here is really like paychecks. I'm going to open it up for you and show you. Because, like, we got a lot of, uh, we got a lot of, a lot of, super lot of big-hearted caregivers that we pay. See these? These paychecks right here. You know what I mean? If you're not getting a good, and, and listen. These are the real paychecks. It's about a million more people that get direct deposits. So you need to know if you're a caregiver and you're not getting a paycheck on Friday like you're supposed to be, you need to be hollering at me. You want to roll with a team that has your best interest. We already know that you care about your mother, your father, your loved one. We know you're doing your thing. You're putting in your time. You got to get compensated. If you're not getting fully compensated the right way, what I need you to do is call me. You know what I mean? Now, listen. If you hear with me live, hashtag live. If you hear with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Look, don't let anybody, uh, you know, make you feel ashamed because you, you know, you're nice enough to stay home and take care of some other people. You know, a lot of people look like to put the blame or the guilt thing on. It's like, oh, you know, you you sitting around, you taking care of so and so. You know what I mean? Like, listen, my life means a whole lot more because I can dedicate it and give back to some other people. You know what I mean? Like. I don't know if y'all really know my story or not, but I moved home. I moved back into my mother and father's house when they got, you know, when they fell on hard times, they got kind of ill. I moved back home to take care of them. You know what I mean? So I basically had to give up my whole everything, my whole social life. You know, my whole thing right now is, is just based around, you know, how I take care of my pop, you know. So you, for a person like you, you know, you've been doing a great job, you know. All right. So look, I got people calling me. I'm sorry. They looking for me. All right, but listen, I love you. I got to go. I got to get a run, pop the dialysis. I just wanted to let you know, look, if you need some help, call me, 302-689-3240, 302-689-3240. It's a lot of people calling and texting me right now. They know I'm busy. I'm, I'm on here with you. But listen, every time I get with you and I try to tell you the good things that I got for you, somebody always trying to block your blessings. You need to holler at me. Get with me, 302-689-3240. Look, your cousin that's taking care of his mother, you know, he lay on the couch all day, but he's doing a good job. He's doing a good job, and he's there, so I'm not even trying to blame me. All I want you to do is tell him to call me so we can put some money in his pocket. Give me a couple dollars. Phil from Big Pebble, how you doing, baby? You want me to bring you on a camera? <laughs> What's up, man? Look, I love our Arkansas family, man. If you're here with me, man, check in, hashtag your city, hashtag your state. Hashtag, look, man, we love you over here, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's up, man? You coming down this uh this year? If you come down for the reunion, man, make sure you call me. You know how we do it, man. I miss you. Big hearted caregivers all over the world, man, all over the country. Make sure y'all share this information. Make sure y'all letting everybody know. You know, and if you got a cousin whose stomach is slow dragging with his back because he don't have no money because he can't get out and go to work, tell him call me. Definitely tell him call me because, listen, I, I can't wait to see him. I would love I would love to put the paycheck in his pocket. I love people who, who, you know, take care of other people. I would love to help them. You know what I mean? Listen, I got to go. Make sure you like this post. Make sure you share it with all your friends. Make sure you let everybody know who need a paycheck for taking care of their relatives that they can call me. Yo, I'm here for you, man. I'm your in-home health care guy. Let's get busy. Happy Friday. Homecoming, Arkansas to Delaware. That's all it is, baby. Make sure you in the building. DSU in the building. We here. Big hearted caregivers, stand up. I love you. Take it easy.